Hello guys, this is Aladdin and today we are tackling problem number one from EGMO 2023. But before that, let me share with you some very interesting results. So don't tell me about China. I know China. China, China, China. China just participated in EGMO for the first time and they did not just win, they dominated. Their team of four girls all scored perfect scores. This is the first time this happens in EGMO history. Absolutely legendary. This goes to show that China training is harder than the competition itself. Congrats to them. Let's go back to our problem. There are n greater than or equal to three positive real numbers. For each i between one and n, we let bi equal this expression. Assume that for all i and j in the range 1 to n, we have ai less than or equal to aj if and only if bi is less than or equal to bj. Prove that all of the ais are equal. Take a moment to think it through, otherwise here are the four steps I will guide you through for solving this problem. You can take them as a hint. Stick around till the end because I will give you another easier exercise that can be solved using the same tactic that we will see today. The main idea of this problem is applying the min-max strategy. Step number one. Consider the largest value of AI. Let i max be the index of the largest AI. So this means that AI is less than or equal to AI max for all i's, which is equivalent to BI is less than or equal to all BI max. For all i's, implies that I max is also the index of the largest BI for all i's between one and n. By definition, the expression of B is equal to this one. Since all AIs are less than or equal to AI max, we get that BI max is less than or equal to two AI max over AI max, which is equal to two, which implies that BI max is less than or equal to two. Moving to step number two, which is similar to step number one. The only difference is that we'll consider the smallest value of AI. Let i mean be the index of the smallest ai for all i's between 1 and n. This is equivalent to ai mean is less than or equal to all ai's, which is equivalent to bi mean is less than or equal to bi for all i's between 1 and n, which implies that bi mean is the smallest value of all the bi's. Once again, by definition, bi mean is equal to this expression, which is larger than or equal to 2 ai mean over ai mean, which is equal to 2. Things are getting clear now. Moving to step number 3. Since bi mean is less than or equal to bi max, which is less than or equal to 2, and since bi mean is greater than or equal to 2, we get that the biggest value of the bi is, is equal to the smallest value of the bi is, which means that all the bi's are equal. All the bi's are equal to 2. Step number 4. Equate all the ai's. I will go back to the statement. Since this relationship is an equivalence relationship, we can apply it in the other way around. By the other way around, I mean that if bi is less than or equal to bj, ai is less than or equal to aj. But what if bi is equal to bj? Is AI equal to AJ? Uh, the answer is yes, and we're gonna prove that. Step number four, equate all the AIs. Let's take two integers A and J. Since all values of the B series are equal, we can say that BI is less than or equal to BJ, which is equivalent to AI is less than or equal to AJ. We apply the same property the other way around. BJ is less than or equal to BI, which is equivalent to AJ is less than or equal to AI. And here you see where we are going. This implies that AI is equal to AJ. Finally, we did it. And this is the complete answer for this exercise. 
To further master the min-max principle, here is an even easier exercise. Give it a go and drop your solution in the comments below. See you in the next video.